Gentlemen, Antonio here. Okay, so this video is not really style related. This is more about business because I get a lot of business questions and people are asking me, okay, Antonio, how did you build up your YouTube channel? How do you, how did you create this business? How do you run two businesses uh, and have a family at the same time? So a lot of questions have been asked of me. And so I went ahead and I brought some of my best interviews from across the web to one place. So I'm going to link to this right below this video. But the first vi uh, interview I'd like to share with you is the one I did with John Lee Dumas over at Entrepreneur on Fire. And for a good 30 to 45 minutes, we talk about entrepreneurship. And I give him the summary basically of how I started a tailored suit, how that led to real men, real style. And we've got some great quotes in there. Uh, one of the things I love to talk about is systemization. And my, my quote in there is, what do you hate doing? Solution is to systemize it and give it away. Next, I've got an interview that I did with uh, Caleb over at the cubicle over at Pocket Changed. And uh, basically, we're talking about dominating YouTube by talking about timeless style and dressing better. And in this one, I talk about this one's kind of funny because I talk about how my mind shift happened with selling information online. Whenever I was in over at Mixergy.com and I was in the comments and my friend Tim Berkwin, uh, he now is a friend. At the time, he called me an idiot for just giving away all of my information. He felt that I should be charging uh, for some of my information and time. And I have to say at the time, I thought he was wrong. Now, uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars later, uh, I think he's right. So, Okay, so how to attract clients on YouTube. This was another interview. I just conducted this with James Wedmore, and this was one in which James is, uh, you don't see me at all, you can just hear me, but he goes over my YouTube channel. And in case you're a YouTuber yourself, uh, you're going to really like to follow James because he's the uh, author of Video Traffic Academy, and he's an expert on how businesses can use YouTube to grow. Number interview, the next one is Smart Business Revolution. I did this with my friend John Corcoran. And John is a lawyer who specializes in teaching people how to use uh, the law and how to use, he was actually a uh, former, this is pretty cool, he used to write speeches for the president. So uh, pretty pretty cool uh, job, job they had there. But he loves to help people learn how to network. And in this case, we're talking about, you know, just some of the how I started the tailored suit, uh, how I moved into real men, real style. And the good quote here is that I don't look at anyone not having money as being poor. I look at being poor as being unable or unwilling to get out there and learn. And then um, an interview I did over at the Rise of the Top. This is when I first started my YouTube channel. And I did 200 videos in 200 days on a budget of $2,000. And I give uh, David Seitman Garland all the details on this. And the cool part is if you look at my numbers, at the time I only had like, what was it, half a million views or something like that. Now, as you know, we're like at four and a half million a year and a half later. So it just goes to show you put in the investment and you can really see uh, the dividends later. So my interview with Tim Francis, Tim Francis, I'm going to have some interviews with him very soon, a really successful Canadian marketer. And me and Tim, this was one, it's audio only and it's more for his, uh, for his, uh, what is it? Uh, iTunes, uh, iTunes channel, but I go into a lot of detail about building trust. And one of the, the money quotes out of there is people love information, uh, and that people come to your site for information and that you can use it to create trust, to help with your sales and to build friends and build up your business. Okay. This one is the BIB podcast. And this is a pretty cool because this is a part one and a part two of the interview. They were done a year apart. And then that, this is a great example. When I did the first one, 250 videos, 11,000 subscribers and 1 million views. A year later, I did the same one and I only added like about 40 interviews or 40 videos. And my numbers went from, uh, I, they, they went for, well, my traffic grew by 400%. So again, it just goes to show in this second interview, the power of evergreen content. An interview I did with The Art of Manliness, so you want to be an entrepreneur. This one talks more about entrepreneurship and is a written only interview. 
And um, I, I think the money quote out here is the, I like the idea of waking up in the morning and knowing that the success of my company depends directly on the decisions I make. Not in this, but one of the reasons I put all this together and why I love doing these interviews, gentlemen, is because I wake up every morning and I'm excited about what I do. I mean, it's here, it's a Saturday morning and I am working on my business and I love it. Okay, so Black Socks, the man behind Real Men Real Style. This one's a little bit more fashion uh, in style. We talked a little bit about uh, what's you know Black Socks, a company that I support. In my with, I did this with my friend Lori, uh, Lori Rosen. Okay, and this is one of the first interviews I ever conducted. I did it with Views Online or, or Views Line interview, and this was about my custom clothier, a tailored suit. At the very end, I've also got an interview I did with Dapper, talking about five of my favorite things. So at the end of this. If you're interested in talking to me more about building up your business, and if you think you need some help, uh, coaching, consulting, something like that, I'm starting to do this. I've got a limited number of people I work with, usually just uh, about a, six people over the period of a year uh, that I work with, and we can start talking about this if you're interested. But uh, again, guys, not really style related, but something that I get a lot of questions about this, and I know most of us are in some way or another, we want to start a business. Uh, we are working in business. We perhaps want to sell more. We want to grow with our company. We want to stay employed. <laughs> so if any of that applies to you, I think you're going to find one of these interviews interesting. All right. Take care. This has been Antonio with Real Men Real Style. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.